Welcome to Who Died Today America. Stay informed with the latest news and tributes about the famous personalities we've lost. We'll bring you heartfelt stories and updates on the lives and legacies of those who have made a significant impact. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's remember and honor those who have passed. Phil Donahue, who passed away at the age of 88 on August 7th, was a pioneering talk show host who revolutionized daytime television. With his groundbreaking program, The Phil Donahue Show, Donahue changed the conversation in American homes, tackling contemporary and controversial topics with a depth and honesty that were unprecedented for the time. Born in Cleveland, Ohio on December 21, 1935, Donahue's journey into television began in Dayton, Ohio, in 1967. His show, which started as a local program, quickly gained traction, eventually becoming a national sensation. Over nearly three decades, Donahue hosted more than 6,000 episodes, bringing issues such as abortion, gay rights, and feminism to the forefront of public discourse. His unique approach, which included audience participation and a focus on socially relevant topics, set the stage for future talk shows, paving the way for hosts like Oprah Winfrey. Donahue's influence extended beyond the topics he covered. His ability to engage with his audience, to ask probing questions, and to facilitate meaningful dialogue made him a beloved figure in television history. His dedication to giving a voice to the voiceless and tackling issues that others shied away from earned him 11 Daytime Emmy Awards and the respect of millions. Off-screen, Donahue was a devoted family man. He met his wife, actress Marlo Thomas, when she appeared as a guest on his show, and they shared 44 years of marriage. Together, they became a symbol of a loving and supportive partnership. Donahue's impact on television and society is immeasurable. He was more than a talk show host. He was a trailblazer who used his platform to challenge the status quo and to encourage open, honest conversations about the most pressing issues of the day. His legacy will continue to inspire future generations of broadcasters and viewers alike. Phil Donahue leaves behind his wife, Marlo, four children, and a profound legacy that forever changed the landscape of television. He will be deeply missed, but fondly remembered by all who were touched by his work. Rest in peace, Phil. Your voice and vision will live on. John Aprea, the versatile and accomplished American actor, passed away at the age of 83 on August 5th due to natural causes at his home in Los Angeles. Aprea's illustrious career spanned over five decades, making him a beloved figure in both film and television, known for his memorable performances and enduring charm. Born on March 4, 1941, in Englewood, New Jersey, Aprea grew up in a close-knit Italian-American family, deeply rooted in their cultural heritage. Despite his shy demeanor, Aprea harbored a deep passion for acting from a young age. His journey into the world of entertainment began in his 20s, when he moved to Los Angeles, determined to pursue his dream. Aprea made his mark in Hollywood with his debut in the iconic film Bullet, but it was his role as young Salvatore Tessio in The Godfather Part II that truly established him as a talented actor. His portrayal of the younger version of the character originally played by Abe Vigoda remains one of his most recognized roles, earning him a place in cinematic history. Throughout the years, Apriya showcased his versatility by taking on a wide range of roles across various genres. He starred as Laterne Vince Novelli in Matt Houston, Sheriff Jack North in Falcon Crest, and Manny Vasquez in Knott's Landing, among others. Apreya also became a familiar face on television screens as Nick Katsopoulos in Full House and its revival, Fuller House. Apreya's filmography is as impressive as his television career, with notable roles in The Stepford Wives, New Jack City, The Game, and The Manchurian Candidate. His ability to bring depth and authenticity to each character he portrayed earned him the respect and admiration of both audiences and peers alike. Beyond his professional achievements, John Apria was known for his warmth, kindness, and the positive energy he brought to every set. He leaves behind a legacy of dedication to his craft, a body of work that will continue to inspire, and countless memories for those who had the pleasure of knowing him. John Apriya's legacy will live on through the characters he brought to life, and he will be dearly missed by all who knew and admired him. 
Alain Delon, who passed away at the age of 88 on August 18th, was a true icon of French and international cinema. Delon was not just an actor, he was a symbol of a cinematic era, embodying the essence of European cinema in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. With his piercing gaze, chiseled features, and undeniable charisma, Delon became a global sex symbol and a household name, revered for his ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and intensity. Delon's journey to stardom began with roles in films like Women Are Weak and Purple Noon, where he first showcased the magnetic screen presence that would define his career. His collaborations with legendary directors such as Lucino Visconti in Rocco and his brothers and The Leopard, 1963, and Jean-Pierre Melville in Le Samurai cemented his place as one of the greatest actors of his generation. These films not only highlighted his versatility, but also his ability to infuse his characters with a depth that resonated with audiences worldwide. Over the course of his career, Delon appeared in more than 90 films, each role reinforcing his status as a cinematic giant. His performances were marked by a unique blend of elegance and intensity, making him a beloved figure in France and an influential presence in global cinema. Even as his appearances became rarer from the 1990s onwards, Delon remained a powerful figure in the industry. His legacy honored with numerous awards, including an honorary Palme d'Or at the 2019 Cannes Film Festival. Beyond acting, Delon was a man of many talents and interests, from music to business, and his influence extended well beyond the silver screen. His life, like his roles, was complex marked by both public adoration and personal challenges. Alain Delon's passing marks the end of an era, but his legacy will endure. His contribution to cinema, his iconic roles, and his unforgettable presence will continue to inspire and captivate future generations. He will be remembered not only as a brilliant actor, but as a true legend of the film industry. Scott Bloomquist, who passed away at the age of 60 on August 9th in a tragic plane crash near his home in Mooresburg, Tennessee, was a legendary figure in the world of dirt racing. Known for his unparalleled skill behind the wheel and his innovative contributions to the sport, Bloomquist leaves behind a legacy that has forever shaped the world of dirt late model racing. Bloomquist's career, which began in 1980, was marked by extraordinary achievements that few could rival. With over 600 victories across various touring series and nine national championships to his name, he was more than just a racer. He was a force of nature on the track. His induction into the National Dirt Late Model Hall of Fame in 2002 was a testament to his dominance and influence in the sport. But Scott Bloomquist's impact extended far beyond his impressive list of victories. He was a visionary, constantly pushing the boundaries of what was possible in dirt racing. His innovations in race car design and track evolution helped shape the modern era of dirt late model racing, ensuring that the sport continued to grow and thrive. His work with dirt car racing and the world of outlaws was instrumental in rebuilding and enhancing the series, solidifying his status as a pioneer in the racing community. Fellow racers and fans alike mourned the loss of Bloomquist, remembering him as a one-of-a-kind personality whose passion for the sport was matched only by his ingenuity. Tony Stewart, a four-time NASCAR Cup Series champion, described Bloomquist as probably the smartest guy I've ever been around when it comes to dirt racing, highlighting not just his skill but also the intelligence and creativity that made him a legend. Clint Bowyer, a former NASCAR driver, summed up the sentiment shared by many. You simply couldn't fit his life into just one movie. It'll take a series. Indeed, Scott Bloomquist's life was one of remarkable achievements and unforgettable moments, a story of a man who not only raced, but revolutionized the sport he loved. Scott Bloomquist will be deeply missed, but his legacy will continue to inspire and influence the world of dirt racing for generations to come. Rapper Beat King, who passed away at the age of 39 on August 8th, has left an indelible mark on the world of music, especially within the Houston rap scene. His sudden death, caused by a pulmonary embolism, has left fans and loved ones mourning the loss of a truly unique and influential artist. Born and raised in Houston, Beat King became a beloved figure in the city's vibrant music culture. Known for his infectious beats and clever lyrics that made every track a party anthem, 
His music resonated deeply within the Texas party scene, filling college campuses and clubs with his energetic sound throughout the 2010s. His ability to capture the essence of a good time made him the life of every gathering, and his presence in the music world was one that brought joy to countless fans. In 2020, Beat King gained international attention with his viral TikTok hit, Then Leave, a song that not only showcased his talent, but also introduced his music to a broader audience. The track's success solidified his place in the industry, earning him recognition far beyond the Houston borders. Throughout his career, Beat King collaborated with major artists like 2 Chainz, Juicy J, and Ludacris, further cementing his reputation as a versatile and talented producer and rapper. His tracks Estab, Outside, and Keep It Poppin' are just a few examples of his ability to create music that resonates with people, both on the dance floor and in everyday life. Beat King's passing is a significant loss to the music community, particularly to those who knew him as more than just an artist, but as a friend and a father. He was surrounded by his two daughters in his final moments, a testament to the love he had for his family. As we remember Beat King, we celebrate his contributions to music and the joy he brought to so many. His legacy will continue to live on in the beats that defined a generation and the memories he created with his music. He was truly the best part of the club and will be deeply missed. Reyes Maranta, who passed away at the age of 31 on August 6th in a tragic motorcycle accident in the Dominican Republic, was a talented MLB pitcher whose presence on the mound was as powerful as it was memorable. His untimely death has left the baseball community in mourning, as they remember a player who brought energy, passion, and skill to every game he played. Born in the Dominican Republic, Maranta's journey to Major League Baseball was one of determination and perseverance. He made his MLB debut with the San Francisco Giants in 2017, quickly establishing himself as a formidable reliever. Known for his blazing fastball and competitive spirit, Maranta became a key player in the Giants' bullpen during the 2018 and 2019 seasons. His impressive 2.49 ERA in 2018 and 2.86 ERA in 2019 showcased his talent and made him a reliable arm in critical situations. Throughout his career, Maranta also played for the Los Angeles Dodgers, Arizona Diamondbacks, and Los Angeles Angels. Each team benefited from his skills, and his 3.05 ERA over 177 appearances in the majors is a testament to his consistency and effectiveness on the field. Even as he faced challenges, including injuries and team changes, Maranta's dedication to the game never wavered. Beyond his statistics, Reyes Maranta was known for his infectious enthusiasm and love for baseball. His teammates and coaches remember him as a positive force in the clubhouse, always ready with a smile and a word of encouragement. His love for the game and his teammates was evident in every pitch he threw. The news of Maranta's passing has deeply affected those who knew him and those who admired his talent from afar. As we reflect on his life and career, we honor not just the player he was, but the person he was, dedicated, passionate, and beloved by many. Our thoughts and prayers are with the Maranta family and all those who were touched by his life. Reyes Maranta's legacy will live on in the hearts of his fans, friends, and family, and in the memories of every game he graced with his talent. Gina Rollins, who passed away at the age of 94 on August 14th from complications of Alzheimer's disease, was a towering figure in American cinema whose work spanned nearly seven decades. Known for her extraordinary talent, emotional depth, and indomitable spirit, Rollins leaves behind a legacy that has forever shaped the landscape of film and television. Born on June 19, 1930, in Madison, Wisconsin, Rollins' journey into the world of acting began on stage and quickly transitioned to film and television. She gained early recognition in the 1950s and 1960s, but it was her collaborations with her husband, the pioneering filmmaker John Cassavetes, that truly cemented her status as one of the most important actors of her time. Together, they created 10 unforgettable films, including A Woman Under the Influence and Gloria, both of which earned her Academy Award nominations and are considered masterpieces of American independent cinema. 
Rollins was known for her fearless portrayals of complex, multifaceted women, bringing a raw and genuine emotion to the screen that few could match. Her work in Opening Night and Another Woman further demonstrated her ability to delve deep into the human psyche, earning her critical acclaim and numerous awards, including four Emmys, two Golden Globes, and an Honorary Academy Award in 2015. Beyond her work with Cassavetes, Rollins continued to captivate audiences in films like The Notebook, directed by her son Nick Cassavetes, and The Skeleton Key, showcasing her enduring talent well into the later years of her career. Her influence extended to her family, with all three of her children, Nick, Alexandra, and Zoe, following in her artistic footsteps as actor-directors. Gina Rowland's contributions to the arts go far beyond her impressive filmography. She was a trailblazer for women in the industry, a muse, and an inspiration to countless actors and filmmakers. As we remember her remarkable life and career, we celebrate a true icon whose work will continue to inspire future generations. Ruth Westheimer, who passed away at the age of 96, was a trailblazing sex therapist, educator, and cultural icon whose influence spanned continents and decades. Born Carola Ruth Siegel in Germany to a Jewish family, Ruth's early life was marked by the horrors of the Holocaust. At the tender age of 10, she was sent to safety in Switzerland through the kinder transport, but tragically, her parents were killed in concentration camps. This harrowing experience shaped her resilient spirit and determination to help others. After World War II, Ruth emigrated to British-controlled Palestine, where she joined the Haganah and trained as a sniper, a testament to her courage and unyielding strength. Later, she moved to Paris to study psychology and then to the United States, where she earned her doctorate in family life studies from Columbia University. It was in the U.S. that Ruth began her groundbreaking work in sex therapy, a field that she would revolutionize with her candid, warm, and often humorous approach. Dr. Ruth, as she was affectionately known, became a household name through her radio show, Sexually Speaking, which began in 1980 and quickly gained a massive following. Her no-nonsense yet compassionate advice on sex and relationships broke down taboos and opened up conversations about topics that were often considered off-limits. She later expanded her influence to television with The Dr. Ruth Show, reaching millions of viewers each week. Throughout her career, Dr. Ruth authored 45 books on sex and sexuality, appeared in numerous television shows and commercials, and received countless accolades including induction into the Radio Hall of Fame and the Order of Merit of the Federal Republic of Germany. Her life was celebrated in the one-woman play Becoming Dr. Ruth and the documentary Ask Dr. Ruth, which chronicled her extraordinary journey from Holocaust survivor to beloved cultural icon. Ruth Westheimer's legacy is one of compassion, education, and breaking barriers. Her work empowered countless individuals to embrace healthy, open discussions about sex and relationships, leaving an indelible mark on society. She will be deeply missed, but her influence will endure for generations. Breaking news of the day. News 1. Dolly Parton, the iconic country music legend, has once again found herself at the center of unfounded health rumors and distressing death hoaxes. At 77, Parton remains a vibrant force in the music industry and philanthropy, despite persistent false reports about her well-being circulating through gossip columns and social media. In 2013, the National Enquirer falsely reported that Parton had undergone an esophagectomy due to severe gastroesophageal reflux disease, potentially leading to esophageal cancer. These claims, combined with noticeable weight loss, fueled speculation about her declining health. However, Parton's team has consistently denied these rumors, emphasizing her privacy and good health. The rumors escalated in 2015, with claims that Parton was battling stomach cancer after a hospital visit for kidney stone removal was misinterpreted. Parton directly addressed these concerns, reassuring fans, It's true that I had kidney stones. I am doing just fine. There is absolutely no truth at all that I have stomach cancer. In 2022 and 2023, Parton became the target of internet death hoaxes, which her representatives quickly debunked. With her trademark humor, Parton reminded fans, She's still alive and well. Stop believing what you see on the internet. 
Despite the baseless rumors, Parton has openly discussed her real health challenges, including a diagnosis of endometriosis in 1981, which led to significant personal struggles. After collapsing on stage and undergoing multiple surgeries, Parton has candidly shared her journey to emotional and physical recovery. Today, Parton continues to thrive, focusing on her music and charitable endeavors while debunking myths about her health. Her resilience and openness continue to inspire fans around the world. News 2 Steven Seagal, once celebrated as a Hollywood action star, has taken a dramatic turn in recent years aligning himself closely with Russian leadership. Recently, Seagal was notably present at Vladimir Putin's inauguration for his fifth term, standing alongside influential figures like Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov. This appearance further emphasized Seagal's ongoing and unusual alliance with Russia. Since obtaining Russian citizenship in 2016, Seagal has been an outspoken advocate for Putin and Russian policies. He has publicly supported Russia's military operations in Ukraine and was honored with the Order of Friendship from Moscow, underscoring his deep ties with the Russian state. In the 1990s, Siegel was a household name in action cinema, admired for his martial arts prowess and commanding screen presence. However, his recent activities have shifted focus from his film career to his political affiliations. Siegel's alignment with Russia represents a significant, if unconventional, chapter in his life as a Western celebrity navigating the complex world of Eastern geopolitics. Despite the controversy surrounding his actions, Siegel continues to be a unique figure, blending his entertainment career with political advocacy in a way that keeps the world watching.